Ikenda walking up through the toilets. Will you clear this? Electronic tucked in. Ikenda, is he going to give this a look? And he's just holding it right now. But he walks to his death. And now the B hits underway. That lurk from Ikenda can't get anything done. It's not fly down at B in the meantime. Quick double kill off that Glock. He said he's been a pillar of consistency. Well, that's a great way to open up. Damage done to bit over it short as well. Simple with this P2K. Seeing him pull off some gnarly shots with it in the competition so far. Gonna need a bit more of that as suddenly it is just down to him in the 1v4. Liquid are running at him. Knife out. Oh, yeah, I think he kind of realized. <laughs> Might see a bit of reaction here out of Na'Vi, and here it is, right? Pushing up over towards Short, Sundar Young and Perfecto. Both take fights, and uh -oh. Sundar Young wins two of them. Electronic comes in with another, chimes in with a kill from that CZ. Alige opened the round. Now he's going to have to open this B site. He's gone. Sundar Young's 5-7 is doing Team Liquid in. Nitro all alone now, and the rotate's already here from Simple. Gonna be a rough one trying to get around this corner. Bates the shot, but the 5-7 delivers Liquid. Yeah, great job from SDY. Nice little peek in towards water here. Just a good sequence put together all together. That's a nice shot onto OC. This is a nasty little one. He saw the shadow of a liege before he could even turn the corner. That was well done. Nice. And now I think Liquid, they might want to reconsider. Back to Monster we go. They don't have time to rotate all the way back around towards A. Flash is raining in, streaming over Monster. Now fly with one, some die young and perfecto trying to play this crossfire, but Elise taps them out. Simple here from earlier, and bit rotating through the heavens. Keep that contained, keep it under control. But it is a nice damage dealing round out of Liquid still. They would have loved to plant, they would have loved the chance to make a little more out of that one there. It's just the fact that Na'Vi was, was so red. doesn't realize it, he's not even checking, he's not even looking whatsoever. This is so... Oh. Oh. Does he turn? Oh, freebie. That's huge. But everyone's already rotated. Back to the B bomb site, and Liquid have free access. Nobody's home for Navi. Perfecto's got to tuck down. And there's going to be a bomb plant as OC streams in. 15 seconds on the clock. Oh, that's a rough dink, but Simple will reply. Moving in to help out Perfecto. They're starting to find a way back in. The bomb cut loose from Team Liquid, and they can't get it back in time. This one's stolen away from them. You thought the Nafly did enough. I think in a round like this too, if you're Navi and you know one AK-47 was saved, you're very... Oh. You saw it. Yes! There's oh. the little tap. I was going to say, you're going to be cognizant and avoid getting... Again, with a bit of a fake, but this time they're just going to stick to their guns. Follow through with this B play. Smoking monster, but Liquid are already ahead of it. And it's Yakinda with another kill in the round. This hero AK doing a good job of keeping Liquid in this one. He drops that bomb over to a liege who doesn't need to repeat this now bomb planted for him yakindar still keeping up this aggression on the ak from the get-go of this round he wanted to be involved in fights oh. but that's his last one simple with the return with the response and now he's moving in closing the net on these site players a liege bought down even lower and oc getting wrapped he desperately needs help but a liege can't offer anything so low, so low on health, and one chance to land this shot. Out with the swing, that's clean, and he's got Simple off the bomb. Three seconds, two left on it. He he's gets got him it. off one more time. Simple it's wins so it. close, but Simple oh, committed. No. It's just <laughs> short. The fuse goes off. Hey, guys. Hot Pizza has recently added a cool bonus for you. Now you can open one case for free every 24 hours. Obviously, you're not gonna get a Dragonlord here, but this deal, for example, doesn't look bad. Also, you can always use my code VLADPORT, which will give you another 50 cents and let you open another case for free, like this monster case, for example. Now you have two free skins. You don't like them? No worries. You can always upgrade them and choose yourself what skin you like. Hot Pizza has many cases, with different prices and skins inside, as well as they have recently added a case for those who find those free cases and bonuses ridiculous. I present to you the Matt case, and whoever dares to open it will get an awesome and rare skin guaranteed, like this M4 Howl for example. So guys, make sure to check out Hot Pizza GG and find the best case for yourself. Link will be in description below. Right, maybe force a bit of a reaction out of RV and actually it's about to come through now it's another clash of simple and OC and it's another one that simple is able to win out 
A tie goes his way, but not the killing blow. And now him and Bit. Okay, okay, you found bits. You know that Simple's still here. Your kids are in a leash as this little tag team taking a lot of space up yeah. the long side. And that fly holds down the connector. These lurks out of him still finding a lot of impact for Team Liquid. But it happens the other way around and it, it gives Liquid just this huge info advantage in that situation. It made that tag team that much more deadly. Smoke Jet extinguishes the Molotov. Yeah, this ain't a boost you see every day either, so... Will Liquid be ready for it? Yakinda opens, but this hero M4 boosted up, put in pole position to try and deliver. Removed by Yakinda. Juggled around these truck players, but spamming this smoke. Time. With net you all the frags. Ooh, hello, that's the bomb getting away from Liquid. Naf's only just arriving as well. They've got to move quickly here. Time's of the essence. Yakinda with one, an electronic gun as well. Nafly gets there from the front of the toilets, wants to try and fight for this control, but Yakinda has slipped the net into the toilets. Here's simple reposition, and on the flash from Nitro, takes a swing. Every one of these fights has been supplemented with a flashbang so far for Liquid. Great little interplay between them over here in middle, and Yakinda is going to take it one step further on this solo mission. Naf looking for the flank, and he's got it. Good transfer up, good find on a perfecto. And man, Liquid just keep knocking them down. Navi have nothing. Another plant and a seventh round. Oh my oh. word, Navi even gets that one. Had chances. These rounds have not been super close. Vecto flashed off the angle. Yakindar leads the charge, traded after the first by Electronic. But he's in hot water. Trying to reposition over onto the short side. There is this com flank as well. Going to complement it quite nicely with Electronic's aggression. They can pincer this short man together. Nitro, a short man indeed as he ducks under those bullets, but Bit will come in with the trade. You know, uh, remove this flow of info is brilliant. And both uh -oh, players are looking uh -oh, at Con. Both players looking into the connector. Nafly dead and simple. Now needs to trade this swinging out. He will deal with one, but that is a clean trade for Naf. He had maybe a second to lock that in on a very tight angle. Makes it look easy. Some Dai Young will be arriving here very, very soon, but in the 1v2, the one thing he's got going for him is that Elise is low on health. And so maybe on this first probe, if he finds the opener, that's going to invite him in. And it's Nafly to face him first. Molly will not hold back some guy young, but Elise nails the follow-up shot. This time, no pop flash. They don't want to give away O2. It comes in a little bit late. Elise sees one, gets lured into the trap. OC, good shot. Is he going to get another one? Bit missed an opportunity, and there it is, the second. OC having a chance for impact, and he's delivered with two. Oh, he's trying to turn it into a fake. He's hoping that lobbing in this not working. forces the rotate, but no, Navi are sticking to their guns. Some die young with the Mag 7. Oh, no! Oh, dear! Oh, but don't worry. Simple should have saved it with that kill there. Nitro going to arrive, but just seconds too late. Maybe three, two, one, and Simple is away. Just wins it by hiding. Just falling short of that one, the flank. When they're, they're both gonna meet over here on short. Simple and OC are both boys to take this, but it's electronic to break the silence. Moving in, he will get traded after one. Simple hangs around the back of the smoke, but at least punishes in a very big way. It's him and Yakinda on his tag team again, trying to rise above it all, but some die young, puts him in the dirt. Dancing around, Flash finds him. Bits got him from the heavens. Lovely little interplay between these two. It's left to Nitro. Trying to get double digits for Liquid, but he can't get it done. Some die young. Of that opening half, absolutely devastating. Navi's going to try and replicate things. Perfecto goes one for one. Dooley's on a leash as well. Over at the stairs, SD Wine Electronic. Dooley's can't get the job done. And Yakinder can't get the job done. SDY continues to step up. Yeah, it was him in round 15 who really put on a show down in that B site to find Na'Vi a sixth. He's kickstarted this second half in a big way. That's a double Glock kill in the connector. Serves Na'Vi really well in this round. They've got the B site. They know the Nitro's over here in middle. It would almost be impressive to find a way to lose this one. Throw up in the boost like this, you're really hoping you get something out of it because getting out of this boost position can be rough even with the smoke down. The spam damage connects, but they will get the players out. Bit trades, and now Elise going up and over. He makes a boost of his own. 
<laughs> up on top of the dice box. B-Sight that much less defended. OC is here on the AWP, playing around the pillar. They line up for him over it short. Does miss the flick back, but a two for one. It ain't bad. He skewers the short play. Perfecto with the trade on to Nitro, but a man's already dropped in. Your kinder are fast to arrive. Leaves it all on bit in the one versus three. He's got 20 seconds. Bomb on his feet, but he's moved past it. Instead, he's hunting down this trade. However, Nafly repositions nicely. Electronic gets all the way in. He's kind of shocked how much room he's got here. And with Bit winning that fight in the connector, victory's going to be short-lived. Yakindar should have this trade. Nitro tries to run into the site and deny a plant. And Oh, they didn't uh, get it. They, they didn't, didn't get, get it. it. That molly went into the site and it moved them out of position long enough. I didn't, <laughs> yeah, I no. didn't think we were going to get that at an RV. This it, round is so weird. Just pistols. It's M4 for Electronic, but they might. Yes, they do get OC over in middle. Elise in the connector. He's just been begging them to give him a round where he gets to fight. And you can see why. Elise tears him down. Three in the round from him in the con hold. I'd like to think he's done enough and got no idea it's happening. And with them slowing down like this, it's given your Kindar so much room, so much time to just steal this round away. One versus three for simple. No armor. At least he's got the bomb. That might be the only thing. Maybe if you want to give him a second thing, it'd be the clock, but Naf's pushing VUP as well. Nikindar with this aggression outside of B. Perfecto wasn't ready for it. Ooh, simple. This should be an easy trade. Nikindar's at seven points of health. Pushing ahead, simple. We'll deal with him. That's a huge win. Oh, I don't know if OC spotted that. He's going to fall back. Yeah, he did. Takes the angle. Electronic's still going to creep his way in. Elysia's starting to come back from long, and Electronic has no idea. He is dead meat. Easy kill. And no access. He's going to miss smoke. That is brutal. And, and that's not that's not the kind of the kind of mistakes you want to be making at this scoreline. Still, some die young could remedy it. And the Molly is even going to burn out Nitro. Okay, all right. They miss some util, they land the others. OC in the one versus three. This is a round he doesn't even really want to attempt. They hit this point where like a pace change maybe feels like an inevitability, right? Like, uh, and... Time a little bit more manpower to start over at A. Elysia's gonna come down the stairs again, but OC's off is out towards long, and here's that pace change, but here's a double kill from Nitro. Once again, a huge deficit for Navi. Perfecto claws it back. A three on two with a minute and a half remaining in the round. Playing for this trade at bare minimum. Some die young. That was a chance. That was the opportunity and it sails right by and they don't know about Nitro. They still haven't cleared this and so that's a freebie. Simple's now going to do it alone. At least has the info on this close player. It's a good flash to leave Simple blind. Bit of room given to OC as a result, but he's missed this timing. Simple creeps underneath the heavens and wins that fight. A 1v1. OC, he's landed so many leg shots on Simple throughout this series. Well, finally, he needs to convert one of them, and he will. Liquid steal away, Navi's man. First piece of intel that Navi's able to gain when OC decides to chuck out this smoke. There's one in middle. Molotov in towards Donut. This is a full force attack. Electronics got to do business with the dualies. Oh, he turns for a flashbang and gets dropped. But Bit is there in support. Double headshot as he sinks back. That's clean out of Bit. Can he find any more? Going through the motions on these temple fights. He's waiting for a swing. A main or big box. The flash will find him. Sending him back. Yakindar gives chase. But might have bit off more than he can chew here. There's a lot of bodies around this corner. OC. One versus three, they're all coming out the temple, a hope and a prayer, but this one is not liquids. Navi claps upon them. Force back any defense that's inside Jaguar. Two players here. Well, bait and switch setup. Do love to see that between Sam Dai Young and Electronic. Two of those guns gone. This force buy off to a pretty rough start for Team Liquid. Are they going to clear Bit, who lies in wait at the back of Donut? Oh, they don't look too interested. Luckily enough, OC was holding for it if Nitro wasn't. And so he will trade after one, but he didn't really want the 1v1 if you're liquid there. That's why he's making up for lost time. Blank as well. There's no kits. This is going to chew plenty of time off of the bomb tick. 
Yeah, lack of kids really does just put that much more pressure on this round for Na'Vi. They really need to win some of these early engagements. Now, nah, swinging back. Will get caught from the main peak, but Osi, now if he just tries to play around this bomb, play the time, it's really rough for Electronic, and that's going to decide it. He knows that Osi can fully just play the timing game on that one. Doesn't need to give him a fight. We kind of had it at the start of the game, and then they entered that horrible time period with the money where they just couldn't really look to bring it back out either. Electronic. Fighting on an island in middle and Nitro. He swallowed that island up. Bit and Electronic both dead. Here's a chance. The tides are rising. The tides are turning. Simple with this AWP has got to be the man to do it. From behind the big box, focused on Donut. Flash goes in but does not find him blind. Tries to get out of there but can't escape with more than one. Sights lost. Rounds lost. Na'Vi. That's perfect coordination from Team Liquid off the back of Yakinder taking attention away. Intention of the round, you know, it's like in this moment here. Uh, Look how blind it is. Yeah, exactly. Oh. So you're highlighting, and it's like when that's happening, you know that those players in mid boost up at the perfect moment. Electronic over the top. Nitro is going to start teasing and swinging out a little bit wider. Needs to be a kill. It's a dink. Not completed. One for one. And now they know the position of bit as well. Molotov's going to come in, and he's pinned down by the op. And great shot from OC. Two kills for him so far. And now Liquid can start streaming for... Is Navi's calling a save already? They want nothing to do with it. Even if you rotated through and you got a kill to find the three on three, it's like, where do you go from there? You're going to be fighting and scrapping with Liquid every step of the way. This defense is Swiss cheese at the moment. There's been seven rounds played. Six of them, Liquid, have gotten a bomb plant. They are getting into the bomb sites whenever they want it. And Yakinder's up next. Electronic actually challenging this angle, and Yakinder is pre-aimed, but it doesn't matter. It's perfecto to cut down two. Lovely little sequence. Short smoke to fade. Someone might have to come through it. They're really hoping that someone oversteps. That flash sets them up. And now they look to move in. Nitro back at the site. Takes the head off of Perfecto. Has these last two just boxed in. And everyone from Liquid. One moment you're not seeing anyone. You're not getting a lot of new ideas in some of these rounds. I like this. On the back of the pause, they say, all right, let's run it in B again. Whatever they had planned, let's just uproot it with a fast B play. To do that, they had to get past Simple and they've managed it. They hear some die young spamming out from the cave. They don't decide to give chase. They're gonna play this one inside of the site. It's a little awkward, but cave lost. They have to take real estate over towards long or ramp. These are the options open to you, and they've elected for the former. Nitro left inside of the site, and that fly smoke off. A liege full blinded. Nice way to isolate that engagement. Nitro now gone. That fly is gonna have to do the heavy lifting. Flash to confuse him through the short smoke. They're all looking at Long where he just dropped that flashbang. They're on the bomb and with three seconds, he's not in position to get them off of it. They realize very quickly where that's... Force him into the corner. Nitro could pre-fire this. There it is. Good kill. Good kill. I think he hurt Electronic as well. He's got another. And Liquid are going to force Navi into a save again. Yeah, sometime Young out here in middle. Not even he's a safe bet. Elise uproots him. So you didn't even get out with three of these guns and you never had a chance to win the round. A flawless eighth for Team Liquid. I wonder what the call was to pull him away, Perfecto. Yeah, I mean, because, you know, the fact that the players got kept to B, Yakindo had made noise there. He had, like, lobbed a little bit of util. So that one, I, I, I kind of you know, was willing to forgive, even if it felt like a, a bit much. Uh, with the... Uh, Opening resources away from A, away from middle. And so as a result, you know, the, the kind of net result is, is that the other side of the map gets weaker as well. Electronic. Oh, the timing on that. Nothing's going right for them here. Nitro with that trade in mid bit once again pulled over from A. And once you see him, once you deal with him like that, in every one of these rounds where you've killed bit early, you've had a path into this A bomb site. Liquid have no reason to take their fingers off the trigger right now. They're just going to hit the go button on this. And how many more rounds can you save if you're Navi? You need to you need to put more numbers on the board. Nitro's going to swing into a great kill. Now you kind of are forced into a save. Simple goes down. Good double from Nitro. SDY does what he can with the 5-7, but no chance whatsoever. He's even going to go down at the end of the day. OC with his Tech-9 grabs the choke point, and Yakinder coming through this smoke right here. And Electronic and SDY have been punished by this crunch a number of times that they're not even sure the timing of which side to look first. Liquid 
just need to dot their I's, cross their T's, a liege out in middle. We'll get dropped out of the round. That Molly can't quite secure the trade. And Bit moving in to lend a helping hand. Well, at least keep this in the advantage of Na'Vi. Now, Yakindar has varied up his routing this time, right? He doesn't want to fight you at Cave anymore. You haven't had to contend with someone sneaking out ramp like this. And so Perfecto <laughs> is simply not ready for it. There is still some die young in Cave. He's an unknown factor. He's an unknown quantity. But Yakinda fighting the front line. And some die young dies on the road. Pull needs to land like this ludicrous one tap, or else it's a done deal. Missed shot for OC. Molly's going to keep him off the angle. Going back in. Simple will deal with him. Yakinda opened up this round with a beautiful double kill. Now it's down to him and Naf to close. They're going to play together back of the site, both in this cubby, hugging one another. That warm embrace as Simple moves in. And it might be more of a sweet release for Simple. That sweet release of death calling his name. There's one, but the trade for Nafly is found. And it's an 11-4 half team liquid looking lights out. And now 11-4 up to open up Ancient from the T side, meaning all they got to do is find a pistol here in this second half. And they're off to the races. It's a good start. Couple of kills taking place over here in middle. Finally, Na'Vi get one going their way, but it might be a victory that's short-lived. Some die young and simple trying to reroute fast in towards this A side of the map, but Liquid are one step ahead. Yeah, OC's already shifting into Donut. Yukinder's already coming in towards Temple as well. It's gonna be even hard to just to get a plant. Now he knows the position of Simple as well. That's a great kill from Yukinder. Simple can't turn the corner, and OC's got the final one. 12 to 4. Yeah, you know, you're kind of hoping you were going to go out with a bang, but it's with a whimper. Pat. At least a fight, <laughs> right? Yeah. Here's a lineup for OC instead. We do get a couple of kills at a bit, and it's P250. That gives you a route to the plant that Nitro takes away. However, bit still keeping up appearances. Finally brushed aside. Simple. This is grimy. This is gross. That fly didn't know about that one. Backstab from Temple leaves it in this 1v1. Yakindar's moved in, taken up position, and he might even wrap Temple with this kind of spot. The last thing you're going to be ready for is him here. Simple was just in the Temple moments ago, and now Yakindar's crossed all the way to the big boxes. Simple looking for him, but so many angles to clear. M4 retrieved, and there's that swing out from Yakindar. Ah. Interesting way to go about gathering this info. They've taken mid. Tried to retake it at least, but here's Na'Vi. Pop flashing themselves in a little late, a bit. Open the round in middle, and then he sets up Simple to do the same. Through the donut, Alige lies in wait. Nafly bought down low on his rotate from B. And the bomb, it's actually going all the way back over towards the B bomb site. They know they've got Naf out of position, so it's a free path there right now. But the bomb does have to cross mid. Alij could have looked to uproot that, but instead he goes right into some die young. Naf's gonna go back. Oh, they're bringing the bomb back towards A. You know that Naf was B side. That's a freebie onto Electronic. Uh, that's gonna give the avenue to, for, for Naf to keep. You know, he's kind of sussed out like the, the, the molly placement that they're lining up when Nitro's going for the. Trying his best for it. The jump up and huge win from Simple. He got the information. I see where the round. Oh, Perfecto just deletes him. Now, there is still this double cave set up to contend with. You know it was Yakindar here earlier. Now you're seeing Nafly in the kill feed. Might raise suspicions for Na'Vi. Nitro pretty far removed from this one. Gonna have to be swift on this rotate if they want to stand a chance. Some die young. Nails that shot to Nafly and a double swing out of him and Perfecto seals the fate of this round. Okay. It was a CT side of the fair. It was 13, or excuse me, it was 12-3 for Navi on their CT side and then 13-2 for Liquid on their CT side. From the entrance to Donut, blinded, and he's got a back behind the smoke. No chance to defend, no chance to fight. Oh, and it might be over. Yeah. That one kill could very well seal the deal. If Yakindar can't make a hero play through this smoke, then it certainly would have. But that double entices you. That double has given you a reason to believe. And it's allowed the smokes to clear as well. Almost left him exposed. 
Na'Vi have even retrieved the smoke from Yakindar's body in the site. Nafly with the backstab. They didn't know about him. The patience is rewarded. Some die young with a trade. Two in the round. He's going to need four in this 1v3 to make it happen. Plant tries to come in. It's attempted, but Nitro won't let him plug in those digits. Hero M4 tries to make a play in mid, but bit. This has just been his domain, hasn't it? Three from the get-go. And all this space taken. Tries to keep pushing the envelope and does. Get dispatched by Nafly's 5-7, but it's nothing to worry about yet. Man, Bit's performance yesterday delivered them into the quarterfinals. His performance today on this map might allow them to fight for the semifinals in a third. Yakinder. Able to grab one. Needs another, but he can't get it. Low on HP. Now Naf is going to start moving forward. He's got an AK-47, but he can't get it out in time for a clean fight. Into resilience at halftime. And they are clawing back slowly. Last win fight here. With OC dead down in the donut, Yakindar needed to get away, really, with more than one. In a 4v3, we're looking at Naf with this AWP in the back of the site. And we're saying he's got to deliver. He's got to step up here. Starting a stream over with you till now. Alige is in position to lend a helping hand. That smoke makes life hard for him. It's going to give them passage into the site, but not for free. The spam connects. Three versus three. Na'Vi. They don't get that bomb down. Time is running out. Five seconds and Alige tries to buy the plant. Nitro could have done it with that spam. But he shows mercy. That's given the plant over. Second time's the charm for Nitro. And now Perfecto's got to do it alone. 1v2 from the top of ramp. He's stuck fighting here. They don't know about him yet. Nafly with a little jiggle. Nitro gets the spot. They know where he is. Perfecto. They try to ice him out. They tap the bomb. They get that first and the second fight. Perfecto wins the clutch. And the individuals are starting to appear for Na'Vi. And that's got to be a feel-good round for Perfecto. He was not in this series for the first three. Or you want to look at it from the other perspective, both offenses firing at all cylinders. This one, they, they have the stack in the right place. It, it's the shame that this round is the one where they have nothing to work with. A couple of upgraded pistols and a scout connecting a few shots is helpful, but not for long. Simple deletes it. Yakindar's going to try and play through this smoke again, but surely doesn't get away with it twice. Bit's got his eye on it. And cover. Oh. He's gotten away somehow. Yeah, it's dicey. It felt sketchy. Yakindar's got one, but Naf now has to deliver. Missed opportunity. Missed shot, and Perfecto pushes forward. Another miss for Naf, and Perfecto. What an impact he's having. Just your kinder are left, lost in the smoke at cave, a 1v4. Those should never come through. Na'Vi, one kill away from tying this up. Your kinder are fighting back with everything he can, but it's not enough. Perfecto goes on this tear. You said just a couple of rounds ago for the first three halves of this, uh, uh, sorry, for three halves in this series, Perfecto was essentially a non-factor. Well, they've never come up those stairs. This is it. This is for all the marbles. Overtime on a third map. Nafly gone after one. Alige is deleted. Nitro just turns away. They're up the ramp. They're next to him. And he's only good for one. OC, worlds apart from his team, was holding on to main. Gets here in a pretty timely fashion, but a 1v3. Na'Vi have done all this work on the comeback, and they're about to complete it. One kill away, and Bit will seal the deal. The score's settled on. All taken from the other two, so the rotate might come in quickly here as they're already deep down the catwalk. It opens MPL with one of his own, and there's Simple adding another to the tally. Those three defenders inside of the site are gone immediately, barely even firing bullets back the other way. Team Liquid already reduced to saving in the pistol. Yeah, I think you know if it isn't if it isn't clear already, it's like you know you're. You're almost playing against a different team now, right? Like, and not just because uh, you kind of are in the sense that MPL sub did, but more so than that, it's like... Liquid's still not moving forward.
They've given a lot of time to this flank from Yakindar, but eventually they do just have to hit the go button. So Yakindar's flank is a non-factor till later in the round, but maybe it's how late it is that catches them by surprise on the bomb. Bit's gonna get them off it. The tag lands, and he will kill the diffuser. Nitro dead. A liquid, they get all the kills, but none of the glory. Pretty darn impressive. This shot is uh special. <laughs> And obviously, Bit just realizing good that these rifles can be found. So anything in the defense from the pistols are great. OC okay. with one, and that's a convincing tag from CT. Yakindar finds Electronic down in those lower tunnels, and this one's starting a spiral. Navi are getting hunted. That bomb is pressured back for... Hunting at the back of CT. That flash will give up the aim of the game. With so little time left, he knows one kill in the right place could win this round. Unfortunately, he won't be in a position to get it, but the spam is clean. That transfer lands, and OC is the man. Is it to perfection? It's not just this kill. It's the dink on simple afterwards. It's the massive amount of damage later on to a third player as well at the base of the ramp. That's a disgusting round from OC. Is leaning into this B site all over again. Ikinda. Maybe unfortunate timing on that jump into the balcony, and yeah, OC catches one on the cross at least. Nah, can't wrestle with the M4. Both players low, and OC is here to clean up at least. And I know, gonna try and get that info. Little jiggle, spots a man over on the catwalk, but it's MPL that's the unknown factor here. Oh, never mind, not needed. He's gonna have, gonna have that much more room out through the connector. They don't know about him, but still, Elise rids us of him. Electronic from Palace, dead as well. Simple, in this one, all alone. All for CT and a man dead in jungle. Not out of the round yet is simple, but is in a rough spot. No denying it, second kill, OC. Over in the connector, Elise is low. Not facing. Simple saw that molly on the ground. Wanted to get usage out of it. Blocks off two of these angles, but Naf and Elise swing him together once that bomb is pulled. Plenty of utility for Team Liquid. Navi used all theirs on the execute. Opening kill to Yakinder. Headshot. Another. A follow up, and Perfecto's gonna start activating, but now he's gotta move forward into the arms of OC. Simple. Over towards Tetris, missed opportunity, missed chance, and now they're on the bomb, getting closer, MPL can't do a thing, and Yakindar comes up big. Two kills to propel them into that retake. Getting lobbed in now, the cat component for this B-Split, ready to spring, ready to move in, but there is someone considering this for Team Liquid. RV cannot get this ball rolling because there's a smoke down on short. There's no choice but to try and go through. Nafly controls that spray just barely. Simple, another one of these clutches, but couldn't win the 1v3s. He's got no chance in the 1v5. Might Team Liquid move on a seven. Even then, the AWP save is not guaranteed here with Liquid hunting. Nitro has his number on the wrap through the spawn, and that's Liquid onto seven. Yeah, that realization sets in on the back of your Kindar's information. Molly burning out these ramp players, sees them down low. Electronic will get the opener, and Simple is going to help out. RV oh, somehow keep this in their advantage. Once again, we're going to have one of these rounds where real rough couple of sprays from him in these last few rounds. This time can't control it. Yakinda, oh, that's a lovely turn. He had no business finding Perfecto, and OC suddenly swinging. This didn't even look like a retake to Na'Vi. And suddenly, Bit has to do it all. Clean Deegs, but he can't find no, the he got last. It. He He's got won it. the round to time. That is massive from Bit. This. How many times is he going to step up for Na'Vi? But again, no real resistance on the take. A retake set up for Team Liquid. And some brutal losses early on. Yakinder comes back heroically, but these shots from Bit. Oh, that's so <laughs> dirty. <laughs> Forward into the bomb site, not playing retake. There's going to be presence here. There's going to be resistance. OC winning that first fight. It's big, but Yakinder now having to hold the line is blindsided by the connector play. Nitro with the transfer. Nitro just mops him up single-handedly on his ramp progression. That's a great shot on NPL, and it happens so fast. He gets the kill so quickly, he can transfer over. Gonna come through quickly. Nafly spots two players crossing, but can't get a beat on them. Yakindar's gonna have to do this one solo. They've crossed into the site. They've got the info. 
Lucy did dispatch of one man, and that's kept Liquid in this with a liege fast cat rotate from the connector. He's able to play into this round after all. Simple core as Nitro gets aggressive. Perfecto's gonna have to win this one in the clutch. Yeah, Simple thought it was gonna be OC with the open market. He didn't think he was gonna slide out. Never knew that Nitro had a perfect timing for it, and OC's got the read. OC's got the read, he's got the shot, he's got a double kill. Tell going in. Oh, but OC catches them before that smoke blooms. There's the early 5v4 liquid now. If they want to lean into these retake setups, this is oh, how oh. you want to do it. But Electronic decides to throw a bit of spice into the mix. Gets aggressive, but caught after one. It's just Perfecto again. His teammates gone around him, and surely no hope here. One shot left in the Deagle. It's not enough. A 10-5 half as OC. Well, the pistol round to what we saw in RV run, but with less attention for Ramp and Palace out of Liquid. Dual Beretta's on Electronic and it open. Close in Palace, it's the ideal sort of position for him. Now you hear the footsteps in Con. Still not enough for MPL to get a beat on it, and suddenly Bits getting pressured from all sides. Elise chases him down. Perfecto's locked in a fight versus Yakinda that he can't win out. The bombs dropped today, Ramp though. Oh. Electronic got aggressive. That's a bit of a disaster here for Team Liquid. The best laid of plans has gone awry. With that bomb taken away from them, this is now a rescue and recovery mission. You might have to win this one on the back of the gunfights. Simple. Left just holding this cross. Can watch it for Electronic and play this in town. And the dualies are clean and simple. Makes that one come through. Yakindar's gonna have to do this in the clutch. One versus two on his plate. And only 30 seconds. Electronic walking in with the dualies. It's the last thing that he expects. And I think Yakindar actually called off the flashbang. It looked like Nitro was setting it up. All they need that frag. Elijah's got it. Perfecto, maybe getting a little bit too antsy. That noise key will be heard by Nitro, who's going to start sliding forward. He's got the bomb, and once again, the bomb being dropped in this similar position on the Pisteron was the issue. MPL assumes it's clear. He heard nothing. He saw nothing, and he's taken down. Electronic all the way back at CT. The timing on that duck down. Now he's forced to swing it wide. Convincing shot to Nafly. Minimal damage done. Electronic still very much a threat here. And with Simple moving in to join him, not out of the round yet. However, up and over and into two different crosshairs. Not had a lot of exposure to officials, right? Not since this event have we seen him donning that main team Navi jersey. And it's a very different ball game to his time in the Academy League. Then factor in on top of that, as mentioned, he's only played in the opening matches. He hasn't yeah. been coming in for deciders. This is a, a huge ask of a very inexperienced player. And it was going to make or break it. Well, MPL, looking like that pressure might be getting to him. And I mean, that we, that's the picture we kind of painted before this map. Can I make some noise here? Oh, just gonna spam MPL, never even gets the chance to play. So now Electronic, I said he's done a lot here alone. He needs to do it again. This time out of necessity, not just the flare, bit dead. Oh, simple collateral. Elise responds, but simple, starting to feel it, takes one of the leg. But you took a swing at the king and you missed the chance. He's still in the round, still in with the opportunity. Perfecto, quick flick to Elise, and now OC got to do it alone. He can't find a thing from the clutches of Team Liquid. It looked like they'd done enough. It's this shot that completely <laughs> changes the course of that round. It gave Perfecto the chance for a follow-up stunning headshot yeah, in the 2v2. Exactly. After this, they must save. That was a... Uh, that gap felt way bigger on the one way than usual. You better take advantage of this 5v4. Yeah, you you better know. actually win this, but Perfecto! Molotov is huge, but once again, Yakinder gets involved in the action, and Simple now missed an opportunity, and he's surely gonna fall, and Yakinder creates everything for Liquid. 16 HP on Electronic. He's gonna go through this smoke in market right now. Yakinda still worlds away, but he's getting wrapped, getting flanked, and Elise gets rid of him. Bit of aggression to chase down that last man. Not like in rounds gone by where they've yeah. had, you know, stuff to work with. They've got this one flash, a Deagle and a P250 to really make a dent. Up close at round, Nitro lines up the double. Convincing tap for Vic, but what more can you really expect from the man? They've done well to get a handful of frags, but that's all it should be. Simple's Deagle shut down in mid, and that's liquid. There's no flashbangs. I don't hear anything. 
Elise is pretty deep in through the apartments, but Bitch should have this one locked in as Elise tries to drop into the site. Can't create that space. Nafly tries to do it, and Nitro is going to join us as well. Here's Simple moving through the market. He said he had a feeling. He had that spidey sense tingling. Well, will it serve him well in this site push? It won't. Your Kindar deletes him. MPL and Electronic, this duo from the A side, have got to do it. It's the last hope for Na'Vi, and your Kindar is looking to send a message, getting aggressive into the market, locks MPL out of it. Just Electronic now, and your Kindar with the backstab should have this one locked in. Team Liquid take down Na'Vi, and they're going. Thank you.